how would I describe Steve Hertz as a coach and a coworker? Is the question. Well, it's it's very simple. He's the best. Well, I started playing baseball at a young age in Little League and then played all the way up through uh, high school and then signed a professional contract uh, my last year in high school. Uh, I signed a contract with the Houston Astros. At the time, it was the uh, Houston Colt 45s in 1964, and then they became the Astros in 1965. Steve, have you ever thought that you would have been better off going into Major League Baseball out of college instead of high school? Yes, I thought about that a lot, and I found that, uh, well, I'm really glad that I went into it right out of high school because I feel I've gained a lot of experience, more than I would in maybe three or four years of college. Well, well a lot of things. First of all, uh, probably being too young to really understand what, what you need to do at that level coming from high school, and then all of a sudden your next step is, is on the bench uh, with a big league team. Uh, it may have been better off uh, going right to the minor leagues and seeing what it's like have to uh, play every day, seven days a week, uh, hard travel, uh, the grind that it is in the minor leagues to, to be able to stay and, and produce day in and day out uh, and be able to move so you can move up a, a level hopefully each year to get to the big leagues. So to start out at that level is uh, probably in the long run not a, a good thing. So uh, in retrospect, uh, uh, there's a lot of lessons to be learned. Well, from 1970 to 1979 at Carl Park High School. My last year at Carl Park, uh, I finished teaching there, but I took a job part-time to coach Miami-Dade. At that time, it was the downtown campus. They lost their coach. So I still really was a full-time teacher at Carl Park and really a part-time coach at Miami-Dade in 1980. Well, Coach Hurt's been a uh, coach here in Miami for, for a long time. Uh, I played for Miami High and uh, he was coaching at Coral Park, so that's 30 years ago. And he's known me for a long time, and I've known him for a long time, he was a great man, and I've learned a lot from him. He's such a legendary coach here in, in Miami. I'd love to get him a, um, a state champion and go on to the World Series. He deserves all that. I just hope I've continued the tradition that Miami-Dade had since inception, since uh, the early 60s. A lot of kids went on to four-year schools. 
A lot of kids sign pro contracts. Uh, there's about 65 or 70 of them that have uh, made it to the major leagues. And uh, hopefully I've been able to at least continue that tradition in some way uh, from the years that I've been here and from the time that we've uh, consolidated from one team in 1998 until the present, until 2010. Not only were you a great teacher and a great baseball coach, but you were a great mentor to everybody around you, not only the, the ball players, but the coaches as well. I know you're gonna be around anyways, but I wish you the best of luck. Uh, you're a tremendous coach. You've done um, great things here at Miami Dade College. Tremendous person. And you changed my entire life. Tremendous human being. Que todo el mundo lo vea como, como un ejemplo a seguir. We're losing a very good coach, but uh... We get to look back at his uh, accomplishments and realize that he was, he was uh, the best coach that I ever coached at Miami-Dade College. They talk about opportunity changing everything. You gave me opportunity. Make sure you spend a lot of time uh, getting some R&R. &R. And um, I just want to say thank you for everything. Uh, you've done a great job here at Miami-Dade. You're a legend. Take care.